Hi everyone, Glenn here again. For today's project, what I would like to do is to take this stock that I put the different style twist in and, as I mentioned, turn this into a bottle opener. Uh, if you recall, at the end of that, the last video, I showed a flat bottle opener that I made for a friend and, well, I gave that to him and I think he could probably use another. So I figured this has already got some decoration in it and, you know, I think it would turn out to be a nice bottle opener. And I know I've already done this so many times, so please, you know, that is making a bottle opener. So just bear with it. I don't have a lot of time today. And also I have an idea to make this in a different way, in a way that I haven't made a bottle opener before. So I just like to give it a try. So my basic idea is to take this stock, uh, this square stock, and then flatten it. And then after it's flat, hold it on edge, you know, off the anvil face, you know, maybe like such and then to put an offset into it, to put an L into it. And then after I have that L into it, then to, um, I want to use this tool right here. This is just a quick homemade tool that I made that I, I find very handy. Uh, it's not made for this hardy hole, it's actually made for this hardy hole here, like such, fits in there. And uh, so basically using this tool in that hardy hole, then I'll hammer in, on, you know, hold this vertically and then hammer in another depression behind where that, that uh, offset is. And so basically what that'll do is that'll act as a catch. You know, you'll be holding this, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the flat will be vertical like this and then you'll catch into the bottle cap and then lift like such, lift like that. So if I could draw it out quickly, I know there's a bit of a glare here, so I'll, I'll try to put my hand over it after I draw. Basically turn the flats, uh, the, the square into flat so you just, this is just a, you know, looking straight down view. And then it'll come like this and like that. So I don't know if you can see that there. So uh, basically, like I said, it's used this way on edge. So you catch the cap and then lift, you know, from the back up. So yeah, I think that, that that'll work fine. I've never tried that before. And uh, so, yeah, let's, I'll give it a go and we'll see how it turns out. Just one other quick thing before I fire up my forge. Uh, is this tool here. I think in a future video I'll show uh, how I made this, which is pretty straightforward. I just took a, you know, this piece here and split it and then, you know, wind it out enough that this piece would insert into it, you know, punch through it and then rivet this, riveted this together. Just that simple. And uh, this is actually a piece of uh, truck leaf spring that I found on the road. And that's why it's a bit beat up the way it is, but it, it works really well for my purpose. And, but I, I probably need to make another for myself because I need one that'll fit in this hardy hole. This doesn't quite fit here. Like I said, it was made for this anvil here. So uh, yeah, I'll show, definitely show that in an upcoming video. I need to give a very big shout out to Mike Farms. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his last name uh, for a very generous donation. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. So as I'm flattening this, I'm, I'm realizing that I might not have enough, enough material and I'm having to make it thinner than I really want to. I used my audio software to take out most of the background noise.
need to square that shoulder up some. Here you guys have a wide angle view of the action. And this is another reason why I need to make another one of these tools to fit my the, the anvil that I'm using in front of me with the square hardy hole. Uh, otherwise this tool, it will rotate. the uh, That small petting house anvil that I have that hardy tool inserted into, it has a round hardy hole with a star on top. And that hardy tool, I didn't uh, do anything to make it where it would uh, stop on that star at the top. So. I just have to be careful as I go along here. Uh, that piece in the hardy hole is a quarter inch thick, so I just reckoned it would help me to get that properly sized. The nose of this piece is so long that I just decided to bend that the other way and then make this bottle opener function in two different ways. This is an example of adjusting on the fly. Not having, having an exact plan but just a general idea but adapting as you go along to fit what will work with the piece. Now my problem is getting the two properly spaced. So I'm just going back and forth from this and that as you'll see. Now I've got the wheels really in motion here, trying to get these two lined up together with these two quarter inch pieces spaced at the same time. And this actually worked really well. Just a couple of taps and helped get both of them uh, the proper distance at the same time, rather than going back and forth and having one right and the other not. So again, just, you know, sometimes you got to make things up as you go along. I decided to give this piece the brass brush treatment. Okay, well at this point it's done, or so I thought. Uh, once it cooled off, I tried it out and it just didn't work exactly how I wanted. So, I did this one final move. I just scratched my head a little bit more and took advantage of my anvil's unique design with that shelf on the bottom, and this really helped. This just, just made it perfect.
I won't show it again, but I reapplied the brass brushing. So this uh, piece took a little bit more monkeying around than I first anticipated. And I kind of changed course as I was going along and put this extra loop on the front. You know, so this way it can be used, you know, as I originally intended this way or also that, you know, that way. So, and you know, with this thinner style, I imagine it'll probably dig into the cap a little. So in that sense, if someone was saving caps for whatever reason, then this style maybe, you know, this thinner style probably wouldn't be ideal. But uh, yeah, it works well. I tried it out. It works, works just fine as it is now. So I'll give you a little bit of a close up here. So you can see. Yeah, so I yeah, hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.